Hi, this is Dan, and I am here with more Let's Play of Risk Global Domination. So it's a new week, so that means there's some new free maps of the week. So we're gonna go to Russia in 2010. So never invade Russia in winter, but can you conquer it from within? So I'm pretty sure I've never played on this map before, so it'll be a new experience for me. Obviously, it's a lot more dense over here, and then we're in the Siberian area. It's a little bit more spread out. Okay. So, we can check out the regions here. Southern, Central, Volga, Northwestern, Ural, Siberian, Far Eastern. Not a whole lot going on in the Far Eastern. I guess it's easier to defend. Well, not really. Um, looks like we're kind of clustered over here, so it probably makes the most sense for us to go for the southern region first, like southern and, and then expand to Volga. I mean, we're already sort of in Volga, but I think um, focusing down here makes the most sense to me. Because, like, if we can get it, oh man, um, like, you know, then we only have one front. Uh, is this can okay? This does connect here, so I think this will be useful. And I guess we'll just stop there. balance this out so we don't have any um, uh, weak areas. Huh. Well, he's got that. I suspect he's not going to be able to hold it. take somebody actually going after him though so <laughs> you never know if that's going to actually happen or not yeah I don't like this uh, this big purple stack hanging out just north of where I want to be That's good. I'd like to go a little bit faster here, but I think we've got to do what we can. Don't like losing troops there, but it does clear out some of his.
So breaking this up would be good, but also getting our own region will be good, so I don't know. Ouch. to win that <laughs> instead of losing twice. Uh, yeah, in the early game when you can't get momentum, it's a, it's a draining experience. Good job, Goldia. Yikes. scary. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. does not want me to ever get anything going here, so. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should be doing more commentary here, but it's like, well, like, what else do I have to say? Yeah, we keep losing, and <laughs> uh, our move is obvious that so we're trying to deliver on this uh, initial plan, but we can't because the dice won't let us. Um, and like these guys are breathing down our neck. So, unfortunately, Goldie is probably going to go here. No? Okay, awesome. Goldie is doing great uh, disrupting this region here, which is a bit of a surprise. Because the AI, in my experience, does not tend to prioritize that.
All right, well, I'm going to do this because <laughs> we need something to uh, to change up the dynamic. change up this dynamic or we lose every single battle as well. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Man. This is, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> I'm assuming it's less fun to watch these videos when I'm so aggravated, but it's like, yeah. Yeah, okay, you know, it's occasionally interesting when the dice don't <laughs> don't go your way, but uh, when the dice never go your way, it's like, man, you just get stuck in the molasses. And I suppose I should be thankful that uh, I got a good trade in, but it's like since all the armies died, <laughs> it's kind of like it never even happened. Which, you know, I, I guess it's kind of unfair to double count the, the bad events <laughs> that way. Is Goldie going to do it again? Yeah. I can't really blame her for that one. She just didn't have the troops to realistically uh, have an impact. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the price we pay for our armies just not getting the job done on the attack. We had our chance, and uh, they just blew it. And again, and again, and again, you're just going to keep losing. <sighs> like, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like I'm not sure what else to say. I've already got done my spiel about <laughs> how, you know, I've been trying to do this plan and the dice won't let us do the plan and uh, we're kind of stuck just trying to keep doing the plan because we have no other alternatives. It's, it's not like we can pivot to something else uh, from where we are. We need to have uh, a source of troops and we need to defeat the big enemy that is right to our north so um, yeah so we're gonna keep doing the same things which is like kind of aggravating it's doing the same thing every single turn it's kind of not fun Here. 
here, she's going to get five troops for occupying central. Alright, well that's a bit surprising that she let me keep southern. Hey, a winning roll. What an amazing surprise. Alright, well, I'm going to stop there because we kind of have no alternative. We just don't have the troops to do anything more impressive than that. And that's with the AI making kind of a boneheaded decision to not attack me. I don't know what Nikolai is thinking here. He's just not defending these territories. So, I mean, he's an AI, so he's not actually thinking, but like, you'd think the, the AI would care about that a little bit, at least sometimes. <laughs> And I guess the counter-argument is I've been trying to maintain a border and therefore haven't had the ability to attack anything, so it's not like my, my way works so much better. <laughs> like, I'm totally dependent on uh, Mitzi just making bad moves. Alright, well, um, so let's put two here, and I guess I want to push here, because I'm not a fan of this big stack on my border, although, I mean, this is putting a lot of faith in my army that they'll actually win some battles. Hey, look at that. I actually can win. Um, I might as well. Nope. So let's stop there. <laughs> wow. Now at a certain point, like, he's going to be the only one over here, so it'll sort of start working for him, but...
A valiant effort, Goldia. Seven here. Uh, the goal is I'm going to try to break up your all. Uh, reinforce there by one. Okay, we'll do this first before I forget. Troops are indestructible. Wow. All right. <laughs> I guess we've got to stop there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling a little better now that I have like a border that's maintainable. Um, I'm a little nervous. Uh, Blue has three cards and her troops are unstoppable for some reason. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm not feeling so oppressed, uh, you know, like oppressively crushed by what's going on anymore now that I actually have. Uh, have something going. It's just like when you in that early game stall out thing where you, it's like you almost get what your what your plan is and then but you just run out of resources to actually close the deal. It's uh that's a very frustrating dynamic in this game. That happens more often than I'd like. Well, let's put four here, three there, because I want to break this up again if I can. Man. I'd like to attack some weaker targets, but I need to... Oh my god, come on! Ugh. Man, I'm sick of these indestructible blue troops. Um... happy when she's gone or if somebody else would like do some work here rather than me having to do it every turn all right 
This might be the end of purple. Nope. It could be the end of green, actually. <laughs> hey! Thank you, uh, Nikolai. It'd be nice to defeat her, but we can't really make that happen, I don't think. Ugh. This is kind of a necessary attack, and of course we start losing, naturally. Wouldn't want it any other way. This is our our uh, <laughs> our national uh, heritage of being total losers on the battlefield. That's kind of turned around a little bit here. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah, I would, again, like to be getting some momentum going, but um, I think that's, like, you know, we can only do what we can, and she reinforced a lot, so. I think that's not too bad because he's mostly been acting as kind of like an agent of chaos, so. I mean, that's hurting my enemies more than it's hurting me. <laughs> Alright, Koi has a good chance of like taking over this side of the map here. Unlike Orange, she seems to actually want to hold territory. <laughs> okay. Well, do it. So I'm a little afraid of this. Um, so let's just beef up our border a little bit here. And here, and see if we can take over this region. to just be satisfied if we can take over this territory. Yeah, 
this is, I mean, yeah, this is the classic <laughs> story, yeah. Uh, wars in Russia tend to get bogged down. So if Koi breaks up that yellow region, that will be pretty good. And he's probably not going to. Awesome. Once again, we'll stop because we ran out of ran out of ability to influence anything. Interesting. Forcing there really sucks. Uh. All right, well, there we had some some great luck. So I cannot complain about that. So yeah, that'll be good. Bit of a surprising move. Hmm. 
Okay, well, that was a questionable strategic decision on Orange's part. Yikes. Uh, okay. Huh? Okay, so we can get this. Um, can we completely kill blue? I think we probably can. So let's put like eight over here. And the rest there. Okay, so that's Start. And then if we can't win this, we know that we have no chance of completely defeating her. So we'll do this now. Not sure where this is, Leningrad. Um, given what time the map is supposed to be. All right. Well, you're dead. Good riddance, Mitzi. You were a thorn in my side this entire game, and I am glad you're dead. Sure, this is a good reason to stop. force effectively, I guess, is the reason to not stop. Uh, hmm. Yeah, and we can't realistically kill yellow here. Ok, 
Okay, good. Breaking up the region. Nikolai. Alright, well, he's probably going to go back into Agent of Chaos mode. Which I think works out fine for me. So he's just going to spend all his troops here. No? Okay, he'll stop. We've got to hit here. Oh, and we have a mandatory trade in. All right, so let's just go here. Yeah, so I'm recognizing a lot of these city names because it's, uh, but it's from playing uh, Civilization because I have any idea, <laughs> any familiarity with the geography of Russia. So that's kind of an amusing uh, experience for me. completely sure we're gonna be able to um, win everything here there's a good chance we will okay it's looking more and more likely <laughs> Yeah, that was a, a bit of an uneven game. The uh, the early game, when you get that stuck in molasses thing, uh, was kind of aggravating. Then, you know, once we solidified our regions, uh, things started to flow. So it went fine. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you come back next time. Bye.